Our vision for our prostate cancer comprehensive treatment program includes not only your traditional therapies such as radiation, robotic surgery, active surveillance, but also the newest technologies such as focal hypo therapy. About 10 years ago, my wife and I were uh, recruited here to Greenville to help build a program. We were promised by Prisma Health that they would provide us the resources to make the most innovative programs. And fortunately, I work for a healthcare system that's followed through on that promise. So the reason why we chose Greer Memorial Hospital to um, do this procedure is, you know, we're the largest healthcare system in the state of South Carolina. We have the largest robotic prostatectomy program in the state. Those procedures have longer turnover times, and we were looking for a place where we could do this minimally invasive procedure in the community setting where people have greater access. We could do more procedures per unit of time because the turnover is faster. And fortunately, we have a CEO there that wanted to invest in Focal One and the program. It also has a return on that investment because of the larger number of patients that are now coming to our system for not only Focal One, but for other therapeutic options. Mitigating risk is important not only from a physician standpoint, but also from a health system standpoint. As a provider, it provides another option for therapy. And if you can provide equal oncologic outcomes from one treatment to another, why wouldn't you do the less invasive treatment, which would lower the risk overall to the patient? In 1988, when my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, when she had a radical mastectomy, lymphadenectomy, and chemotherapy, that same disease now would be treated totally differently. She'd be biopsied with three-dimensional stereotactic biopsy. She would have had a lumpectomy. She may have received some oral therapies, but the evolution of breast cancer care has changed dramatically. And fortunately now we have a dramatic change in how we can approach and treat prostate cancer. That we don't always have to take out someone's prostate, that we can do something less invasive with better functional outcomes such as incontinence and erectile dysfunction. This is where I believe Focal One fits in our armamentarium. It's just another tool in the toolbox to use for patients with prostate cancer. You're going to be able to treat patients with lower risk, with lower morbidity, and we want to be part of the tip of the spear, if you will, or innovation in care. The current iteration where it is is only going to get better with time. And with time, I too am going to become a patient and I'm going to need some form of therapy. And I'm excited to know that I don't have to have a maximally invasive therapy for potentially a minimally invasive problem. Mm -hmm.